Good dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting this video, I would like to say something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, then note it and proceed further. And although you have facing any problem or difficulties, please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Now here is the question. Two gear wheel which are meshed together have radii of 0.50 cm and 0.15 cm. The number of revolution undergone by the similar one when the larger goes through three revolution each. Here we have given four options. Option A, 5 revolution. Option B, 20 revolution. Option C, 1 revolution. Option D, 10 revolution. Now here, what the question says, here we have given two gears A and B. They are meshed together, it means they are connected with a belt, okay, just like thresher, any machines, okay. First, uh, first gear is connected with the motor and second with another uh, device like that machines. So here, like that, first gear A and here the second gear is B connected with the belt, okay. And it's a linear acceleration. You can see that it's a linear acceleration is same for both the gears, but their angular acceleration for the different gears are different. Means alpha A, alpha B, its radius is considered R A and R B. So therefore, you can see that linear acceleration relation. What is the relation between the linear acceleration and angular uh, acceleration? A C alpha A R A. And uh, it is also equal to alpha B R B, alpha angular acceleration. Angular acceleration can be written as omega K upon T R A, omega B upon T because time they are connected together. So therefore same time. So here time time cancel out. Omega can be written as 2 pi frequency mu a r a equal to 2 pi mu b r b you can write here frequency in the uh, denoted by f also 2 pi 2 pi cancel out here mu the frequency for the first gear is already given in the question that is 3 revolution okay so here 3 revolution and what is the radius for larger gear 0 0.50 and we have to find out mu b and what is the radius for the smaller gear that is 0 0.15 then u mu b equal to 3 into 0 0.50 0 0.15 point point cancel out then 3 fives are 15 5 tens are 50 so here the 10 revolution is the correct answer so option D is the correct. I hope so. You understood this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely for your success all the credit goes to your hard work. But if my video will help for your success then I will consider myself lucky. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye bye.